but can you tell yeah. me a, a little bit about what your initial thought was when Mike Fleiss reached out to you? Yeah, I thought, uh, I, I, I just thought it was interesting. I was like, I literally look at it and I go, oh, that's funny. Because <laughs> he said, we're doing something with all of them. You know, things, you know, they hadn't had Caitlin and, you know, they were going to join the other one. And I think they were just brainstorming. They're like, would you want to be in the mix? Would you want to come down and do something or post a couple or one or whatever you feel like? I was like, hang on, let me get back to you. And then I thought about it and I was like, not like I'm some big commodity, but it's just a risk in doing anything is risky. And I'm like, oh, the bats for people are kind of feisty, you know, and if they get mad at me, then I, I don't know if I can handle it. And then it turned out to be fun to go down there. Didn't really know what I was getting into. And it was fun, just a weird experience, crazy, hot, sweaty, but <clears throat> all these good looking people running around. And, and then, and I walked away going, I think they have a lot of stuff. If they do it right, or in my mind, if they take the stuff that I like, I think it'll, I think it'll be a good tone for the show. I think it'll be funny. And I was just glad right away I was reading people on tweets or Instagram saying they liked it. And I'm like, oh, good, good. Because if they're buying kind of what I was doing, I wasn't trying to be mean to people. I just wanted to keep it light and be like an audience member in the show. I didn't know when I was going. And he goes, I think we're going to have you start. And I go, because that's entrances. And I go, that's what I want. I want to go, because that's where you can be funny. You talk for a couple minutes, you'll find something. And all they need is one funny line. You know what I mean? Like just boom, 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 and get in there. And, and uh, like Abigail, the first one, I was like, she's so cute. And I can't make, say anything bad. And she leaves. I'm like, I see why everyone loves her. She's like a fan favorite, you know? But at least... I think people were shocked. I was even kind of nice. I mean, you were mistaken for Dave Chappelle, which I'm sure happens to you all the time. So you let that, you know, roll off your back. The most part was people thought Dave Chappelle was running around. They're like, <laughs> Dave Chappelle's here, I heard. I'm like, he is? <laughs> um, I know you've talked a lot about um, adapting to filming during the pandemic and dealing with the crabs in Mexico too. Are there any other behind the scenes moments that you could share? I, I thought I... Well, the, the lemur and the jaguar and the crabs. Uh, when I went to the bathroom, they were, there was crabs in there. Someone's in here already. And so when I get up to the bathroom, I have a leave a light on in the bathroom because I have the hardwood floors and I go, you just hear them running. It's terrifying. And then I go in there and I go in the shower and there's two in there. I don't know how to get them out. So I leave. It's like a spider. Like tarantulas are like, they're not poison. I don't want to hang out with them. And tarantulas can jump straight up. I don't know what crabs can do. They can stand and they go sideways. Everything's bad about them. And there's more, there's more than you think. One fell off the wall on me. One fell off the ceiling. I'm like, this is a haunted house. And everyone's like, ah, you know, crabs, Mexico. I go, you don't know. Don't tell you be in here. I tell people they go never would have stayed one night. We couldn't deal with it, but going to the set. And then I'm like, good. I'm away from the crabs. So I go to the set. And I look at you. It's funny. You see these monitors. And you can see the people talking and everyone looks so pretty. I'm like, I was just down there. They don't look that good. But just the fact that they got a close up, nice camera on them. I'm like, ooh, flirting over here. This, and they're putting stories together in their heads. They're like, these two garbage can Joes over here. These two might be doing something. Keep an eye on them. And it's really like a, a well-oiled machine. And being a fan of the show yourself and a Bachelor Nation, was there anyone that I guess surprised you behind the scenes? I miss Kendall. Uh, she came after me. Demi was there when I was there. Uh, Rebecca Krufkin. I think she's supposed to, is she supposed to be there. Anyway. No, she's in the trailer. Yeah, yeah. Okay, don't worry. Good. I was like, oh boy. Ring, ring. Hello. You're fired. <laughs> uh, and so they, they, they drop in bombs to start trouble. And oh, trouble, it starts. Oof. Like it is, uh, I think this is the week where it blows up. So uh, I'm not there for every second. So I come into a rose ceremony, come back, get up like the two Muppets, me and Wells make fun of everybody. So I just do those things and then I leave and I can't really see what's going on. I'm not allowed to intermingle. So when I watch it, I go, because I don't know really what happened. 